Jesus Christ, your birth at Bethlehem draws us to kneel in wonder at heaven touching earth. Accept our heartfelt praise as we worship you, our Saviour and our eternal God. Amen.
I'm going to read a few verses from the book of Micah found right at the back of the uh, the back end of the Old Testament. I'm going to read from chapter 5 verses 2 to 4. But you, O Bethlehem Ephrathah, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from old, from ancient days. Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was the governor of Syria and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. Well, shall we pray? Dear Lord Jesus, please be with us as we think about the most amazing story once again. Well, I'd like to introduce you to two friends of mine. If you care to take a look up there for a moment, I wonder if you can see our angelic visitors. I wonder if you'd ever thought of asking the angels questions about the story of the nativity. What was it like? What was it like to go and take this extraordinary message to the shepherds? What was it like to go to Mary and to tell her that she was going to bear the Christ child? It must have been amazing. Of course, we don't really know whether angels look anything like our angels. We don't know whether they had wings or whether they were people of just great awe that somehow communicated God's presence. We know that when others entertained angels, they weren't always aware of it. But what we do know is that an angel is a messenger from God. And a messenger requires a message. And of course, my friends up here had the most extraordinary message. The message of God's love for us. God's love made real and tangible 
by coming to earth in the vulnerability and frailty of a tiny baby. My friends carried a message, not just to those who were important, although they were included, not just to those who were grand, although they were included, not just to those who were wise, but to people God had chosen to hear the good news. Now, I don't know if you would call yourself an angel. I suspect not. In the technical sense, none of us are. But all of us are called to follow the example of our angels. All of us are called to proclaim the good news and to proclaim it afresh for every generation. And so I wonder if you today might take the opportunity to be just a little angelic and to join in the songs of heaven as you tell others about the good news of God's love. Amen. God sent his angels from glory to bring to shepherds the good news of Jesus' birth. Amen. We thank you, Lord. You have heard his story, the story of God's own son. Amen. Amen. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. He may fill you with joy to bring the good news to others today. Amen. Amen. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. Lord.
Jesus Christ was born And God sent us salvation That blessed Christmas morning